Amy over this one, Amy. I really am because what you just said here, drop the bomb uh, on ISIS, get, get get our troops out of there. I'm going to get so much hate mail on Twitter and Facebook now. You have no idea. I, mean, I get I get attacked all the time now. He's no, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. This morning I had Ron Howell on, and he said, "What we need to do is just wipe them out, liberate them, start over again, and and and, and get and get Bibles to these people, not the Quran, but Bibles. You know, Christian Bibles. Just give them to the get start over and and start having a um, a community." Of a Christian, of the Christian built family nation. That's what we got to do. So we have to structure it with. I mean, there isn't anything that is too big for God. I right. just want to point that out for you because I'm a Christian, right. and you know I don't like to see anybody murdered. Um, you know, there is salvation for people. There right. is as a Christian, um, and if you really want to know. You really want to know the truth about God? People, if you're not saved and you're not a Christian, I can get you a Bible. Go to a pastor. Go to a youth center. You know, go to one of the Christian centers. Mm -hmm. Ask them for a Bible. I'm telling you, God is the way, the truth, the life. Mm -hmm. He will save you. Allah, not real. He's a demon. He's dead. Right. People, not real. Get a clue. Get a clue. God is the only way that you're going to get saved. Yeah. But these people, they're sick. They've always been sick. It's in just time. Right. I, You know, I don't believe in murder. I believe that God is the only one that has the right to judge. Mm. But when it comes to saving, you know, I, and, and God will strike me down if I'm wrong about all of this. I, I will pay for it on the last day, and I take the rap for that. Mm. But as an American, as a natural-born citizen... As a Christian, it's just time. It's time that we take back our own and get rid of the issues, get rid of the problem, so that we can move on as a nation and we can pull the demonic out of Washington and put Godly back in and start over, have a chance to start over. If we don't do it now, <laughs> you know what? Those of you that are Christians, those of you that voted, if you didn't vote, you know what? I don't feel sorry for you. You should have voted. You should have voted. Yeah. You know what? The only way we're going to solve issues is if we come together as a nation. It's not about race. It's yeah. not about culture. It's about doing the right thing. Yeah, it is. Stand up. Stand yeah. up. Do the right thing. It's time. You know, I know a lot of military people are not going to agree with me. And you know what? That's fine. If you're a Christian... I know you agree with me, and uh, let's hook arms and do this. Um, but it's time. Uh, mm. It's time that we need to stand up as a nation. And Christians, you need to get with it. Pastors, you need to get with it. Mm. You counselors, you really need to get with it. Yes, you do. And you need to be honest. Mm. Get that Bible in front of those children and say, this is the only way that you're going to get saved because there's too many religions or too many cults out there that are touting, that are trying to, you know, like ISIS, they're a cult. Right. Um, you know, there's too many cults. God, God knows. God knows. He sees. He's, he will do the judging on the last day. Mm -hmm. And if I'm wrong, I say I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. But it's time. It's time we need to take care of our own. Americans need to stand up. Christians you need to stand up. Mm -hmm. You need to stand up. You need to do the right thing. You know, I'm willing. I'm willing to lay my life down for my country, even though I'm out. I would love to go in again, or even just to help out, suit up, and go in and do this. I will lay my life down. If any of my battle buddies are listening, I'm telling you, I will lay my life down for you. I have always took that oath. When I took that oath. That day, I remain on that oath. Mm -hmm. Even though I am out, you know I'm a huge supporter of the military, and I love each and every one of you. And I'm willing to hook arms with you, and I'm willing to fight. Mm -hmm. You need to get on your knees. You need to pray. You need to pray. I mean, Christians, you got to do this. This is now or never. You need to call. You need to write your congressmen, your senators, your governors. You need to write. You need to call Washington, and you need to scream, and you need to scream loud. Yeah. You need to go to Washington, and you need 
to be heard. Yeah. This was our nation. And even though that we can't, I don't know, supposedly we can't touch that thing, it demon that is in Washington and all his little demonic, you know, pipsqueak demons that are there with him. Uh, we really can't touch him because supposedly that White House is not on American soil. That is considered international territory. Right. But capital is on Washington territory just so people know. Um, but the only way it's going to happen is if our military gets set the hell up, they turn their backs, and they say, screw you. Right. And they go after him. Mm-hmm. The only way it's going to happen. Military, we've got to do this. Right. I'm willing. Get with me. Let's do this. Right. 